defined as a relation in whom every element in the domain has a unique image in the range in other words a function is one to one relation and many to one relation so for one to one relation here so one here it comes from the domain it means one element from the domain and this one is one here is from the range what does it mean one element from the range so for many here this one is also coming from the domain and one here for the range next one you identify the one to one relation in onto here we have four diagrams here so the first one here is one to one relation in onto again this one is one to one relation because each element in the domain has one element in the range and why is it on two here because you will see each element in the range which are one two and three all the elements are used that's why we call it on two for second diagram we have one to one relation and not on two so again one element in the domain should have one element in the range however this one this one is not on two why so we take a look at the range here so we may notice that elements in the range are one two three and four however we notice here four here is not used so therefore we regard this one as not on two next one is many to one relation and on two so this one is many why because we have many elements in the domain but all the elements only have one element in the range and why this one is on two because we have only one element in the range which is two and this two has it pairs in the domain and for the final diagrams we have many to one relations again so we have many elements which are uh, a b and c and this a b and c correspond to only one element in the range which is two however here for the range we have one two and three as the elements but two and three sorry three and one here it doesn't have the domain so that's why we call it not on two mapping is another name for function a mapping or function f from a set a to a set b is written as this way so if an element x object of set a is mapped into an element y in set b we say that y is an image of x the image of x is represented by fx and we write as y equals to fx how to identify relation and a function to determine whether a relation is a function we have two methods so first one is arrow diagram second one is vertical line test so what is vertical line test it's called VLT 
vertical lines are drawn parallel to y axis if the vertical line cuts the graph at only one point then the graph is a function however if the vertical line cuts the graph at more than one point then the graph is not a function we will see example 5.1 regarding the vertical line test consider the graph below and state whether the graph represents functions or not so for the first graph we have cubic functions and the graph is represented by the green line okay so we, this one we know the cubic graph but whether the cubic graph is a function or not we have to decide so what we are going to do is we sketch the dotted vertical line which is given by the blue one and we realize that it cuts the green line at one point so we can conclude that the graph is a function because the vertical line cuts the graph only at one point so the cubic graph is a function for the second graph we have x equals to y square right and the graph x equals to y square is given by the green line okay here we have to decide either x equals to y square is a function or not so what we are going to do is we sketch the vertical line which is the dotted blue line here and we realize the vertical lines cut the graph x equals to y square at two points so first one is here second one is here since the vertical line cuts the graph at two points we conclude that the graph is not a function because the vertical line cuts the graph at more than one point function f with a domain is called a one-to-one -one function if no two elements of x have the same image that is fx1 cannot equal to fx2 for x1 for x1 does not equal to x2 to prove that a function f is one-to-one -one, we must show that fx1 equals to fx2 implies that x1 equals to x2 what does it mean here so to show one to one functions we need to start off with fx1 equals to fx2 then we perform a calculation make sure we have finally we have x1 equals to x2 if we found this one then we, con we can conclude that this one is one to one function other than this one the function is not one to one so we have example here example 5.16 by using algebraic method determine whether f is one to one function or not algebraic method so we need calculation so this one calculation So A for a function fx equals to 2x plus 3 x is elements of real number so for A so we let fx1 equals to 2x1 plus 3 and fx2 equals to 2x2 plus 3 again we need to show we start off with start with start with fx1 
equals to fx2 so we substitute fx1 which is 2x1 plus 3 equals to 2x2 plus 3 then we simplify so we have 2x1 equals to 2x2 simplify again we have x1 equals to x2 okay so we start off with fx1 equals to fx2 and here down here we have x1 equals to x2 so therefore we can conclude since fx1 equals to fx2 implies x1 equals to x2 therefore fx equals to 2x2 2x plus 3 is 1 to 1 function that is example A we have fx equals to x square and x is elements of real number so B uh, we start straight away start with fx1 equals to fx2 x1 square equals to x2 square this one is x1 square minus x2 square equals to 0 so x1 minus x2 x1 plus x2 equals to 0 so we have x1 minus x2 equals to 0 and x1 equals to x2 or we have x1 plus x2 equals to 0 and x1 equals to negative x2 here we, we still started with fx1 equals to fx2 but down here we have 2 first one is x1 equals to x2 and second one we have x1 equals to negative x2 so what we can conclude here since fx1 equals to fx2 implies x1 equals to x2 and x1 equals to negative x2 so therefore fx equals to x square is not a 1 to 1 function and we have c now we have fx equals to x square but now the domain is x greater than equals to 0 so this one c fx equals to x square ok start with fx1 equals to fx2 this one we have x1 square equals to x2 square this one we have x1 square minus x2 square equals to 0 so x1 minus x2 x1 plus x2 equals to 0 so we have x1 equals to x2 or x1 equals to negative x2 right but this one we can conclude since 
x is greater than or equal to 0 we ignore x1 equal to negative x2 we can conclude now since fx1 equals to fx2 implies x1 equals to x2 therefore fx equals to x x greater than equals to 0 is 1 to 1 function then see Uh, for the second method, graphical method, the graph of a one-to-one -one function does not have the same y coordinate for two different x coordinate on the graph. Consequently, if a horizontal line intersect the graph y equals to f x at more than one point, then f is not one-to-one -one function, not one-to-one -one function. Since there are two different values of x, namely x1 and x2, such that fx1 equals to fx2. What does it mean? So if you have a horizontal line cuts the graph at one point, then the f is a one-to-one -one function. So example 5.17, use graphical method to determine whether each of the following function is one-to-one -one function so question a we have fx equals to 2x minus 1 and x is elements of real number so for graphical method we need to sketch graph okay. and this one by now you know this one is linear right so sketch this graph so you have this one label this on x label this one as x right where is the line so this one is straight line here so label this one as fx equals to 2x minus 1 and this one is x intercept which is half and your y intercept is negative 1 Right. So draw a horizontal line. So I use the dotted line to draw horizontal line. So this one. Okay. Horizontal line. Horizontal line test. Okay. So we look here. The horizontal line test cut the graph only at one point here right so therefore we can conclude since horizontal line cuts the graph at one point Therefore, fx equals to 2x minus 1 is a 1 to 1 function. That is example A. Next one is example B right so we have fx equals to x minus 2 power of 2 plus 3 so this one you know this one is quadratic okay and it has min minimum point which is 
two three okay and the shape is this way right so we sketch this graph label this one as x label this one as fx right. so uh, y intercept is 7 you substitute x equals to 0 in this equation and you should have y intercept is 0 y excuse me y intercept 7 So, I try to sketch here. Okay. So, this one is 2, some 2, some 7. Okay, Let me label the graph. So, fx equals 2, x minus 2, power of 2 plus 2. Right. So this one, uh, we draw the horizontal line. So I use the dotted line again. So horizontal line test. And we see that the horizontal line test cut the graph at mo two points or more than one point. So we can conclude that since HLT cut the graph at more than one point therefore fx equals to x minus 2 power of 2 plus 3 is not a one to one function done we're done with this